we got some barbarians. Uh, three cavalry, no, two cavalry players, full sets. Uh, that should be interesting. So this is a two two, yeah, two two two, and one special, let's say, uh, composition. Like two melee, two cavalry, two are ranged, and then they've got a mixed player with uh, dog, slinger, and cavalry. I guess that's the jack of all trades. Right. Right. I, 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 I'm in the bottom left corner, so that way I enter out of the, the main battlefield. Doesn't seem like anyone's pushing the flanks too hard. Looks like uh, late knights are taking the towers on both sides. Old school seems to be reforming to kind of push here on the western flank. Uh, JP, uh, JP, no? Yeah, both teams are uh, judging each other, seeing what uh, the other team brought. After all, you don't know what they brought. I think Mr. Self-Destruct is discovering that they brought slingers. That's right. So now uh, here, the, here's the nail gun with uh, Serene Prot that is bringing some javelins to the to the game. Uh, looks like Entropy was able to dodge Bloodspill's charge and able to clip in the back. But didn't do too much damage, but still his morale is starting to slip a little bit there. Cardinal does have the tower on the western side now. East side it looks like it's being left alone by old school. They're going to try and uh, stick near their base. Yeah, they're regrouping probably, right? Yep, they're they're regrouping. Looks like they're gonna be pulling back to get out of that range of their <laughs> of their uh, archers and slingers. And that's very interesting because the the strategy of uh, late night is completely to dominate uh, the both flanks and holding them uh, while they're going around. I think are they? Yeah, that's what it looks like. So it looks like old school is gonna be reforming here at the center by the spawn points towards the base, but. Uh, doesn't seem like they're going to be being, uh, I guess, a little aggressive here. Even though uh, late knights do have the lead right now, so it's kind of important that also kind of hit, get some hit, good hits in while they can. Yeah, they're also sitting ducks for artillery relocation. I mean, if late knight is uh, relocating, they would uh, be in uh, big trouble. Yeah, old school is going to be leaning more towards their base. Late knights testing out their base and their defenses. Uh, doesn't seem like there's much there. Bloodspiller is scouting uh, the forest here. Or, yes, or... Blood, Bloodspiller just discovered that uh, Old School is bringing some uh, light artillery. We still have Lord Command, uh, crew of none that we don't know what uh, uh, is the three units on the side. So we we're still not sure about crew of none. Crew of none. Uh, all, all the rest, all the other units are are already scouted, so are mostly known. That's right. And here they come. They can pretty much wipe my units out. I would not care. I do feel bad, though, because this does give give them vision. I, I am waiting for the day that uh, Wargaming takes out, uh, or actually adds in observer mode or a spectator slot, so that way we don't have to have extra characters. Yes, there. that that would be very nice. And I see an engagement here: dogs versus entropy cavalry. Yeah, I'm seeing entropy getting getting pretty hammered here by the war dog. She's not going to be able to pull out. JP is going to back him up though. Is he going to vengeance now? But do you think he's he's going to vengeance? No, he's been he's defianced. Entropy's defianced, and then. Uh, Bloodspiller looks like he war cried but didn't pop any oath. Cardinal no, uh, GP uh, didn't uh, vengeance. Ah, no, now he vengeance. Now he vengeance. I think they're too focused here on the west. They're not. They're not focusing on what's happening on the east side because they got a lot of a lot of guys coming. Fire Phoenix and El Vampiro moving in as one with Storm covering the I guess further flank there. That's gonna take some time before they can reach anything they can deal them damage to. I mean, now sling slingers are starting to shoot on that side, right, and like artillery is relocating. Uh, I think. Uh, yep, yes, yep. Our, the artillery of uh, knights uh, are relo is relocating to get some good shots onto that blob. Looks like uh, Buts below is taken out, but. Uh... Merlin was actually able to get some some uh, jab damage there, but uh, took a little bit of damage from the infantry. Now it's like uh, they're actually uh, impaired. Uh, 
crew of none has been spotted now uh, now that we we know that uh, old school has some catapults so everybody is moving up on uh, on them oh El Vampiro taking advantage of his range is just nuked Mike Sats with his art light arty <laughs> that light arty is almost gone and it looks like uh, late knights are gonna go for the uh, the cap oh it's a bait so JP oh, should be bait. pushing in for it I mean, right now they're cornering uh, old school. Oh, that was uh, a, in perfect the, a little spot on the map, and they're gonna start sound, uh, soon pounding them with those catapults. Yep. And oh, uh, right now they're setting up. They're set up and start shooting. Yeah, old school looks like they're getting locked into this corner. There is no way for them to get out of this. They really need to push. Yeah, uh, no out map of this. control. They've got them cornered from both sides. Crossfire. Oh man not looking good for old school here but it does look like they're regrouping here in the center um crew of non yeah, they, are regroup, they are regrouped but is that an advantage when the the enemy is uh, artillery positioned to to take you on but i see that it's not in range uh, the the artillery of late night is still not in range instigator is too back uh if he had moved a bit more maybe he would be able to hit the forest where all the old school players are hiding right now right and i think he might be focused on just hitting the base area for now it looks like they might be trying to bait them in which is typically what you would see now it's actually still a pretty close battle here between late nights and old school even though late nights do have majority of the map they uh, i guess map control yeah, it, uh, yes, old school has the advantage, but uh, it is getting cornered, unfortunately, and that is not good because they don't have the melee advantage to take uh, care of these uh, cavalry. Oh um, man, Blood Spiller just got a good hit with Cardinal as well, joining in the fray for Mr. Self Destruct, hitting their archers where it hurts. Yep. Self Destruct was not able to pi uh, pipe phalanx there. And it looks like uh, Cardinal's coming in with the War Dogs to hit those Slingers. Rodiman is pushing out, which gives Merlin an open spot to hit the range. Oh, <laughs> Merlin comes right on in. Invited. Right. So again, he's and another in. charge he from the cool. rear. This is gonna. This is probably going to hurt Rowdy Man. <laughs> oh, man. Now, the Pikes are all they got. Are they going to Phalanx? They are going to Phalanx. And they're going to try and pull out of this. Uh, the, so. the battle turned uh, to the advantage of... Uh... Uh, late nights uh, right now. Uh, the numbers are 50, uh, 50 men more. But Serene Prot is maybe gonna close the gap a bit with uh, by killing those dogs. Yep. Late nights are killing the stragglers here on the east side, um, mopping up whatever's left of JP and Entropy. Uh, looks like Blissfulla is harassing Mike with his uh, cav there, and the main battle is pretty much finishing up here in the forest. Was, that was a very good use of Slinger's uh, range advantage because on this map you've got a lot of corners and it is hard to use Slingers, you know? Oh, yeah. And uh, Late Night went all around using the Slinger advantage uh, over the archers uh, while uh, uh, Old School didn't use the, the archers' uh, lob shots. Uh, they had some Slingers uh, and they had some jabs, but uh, I guess this map is not uh, meant for... Uh, or close range or at least not this way yeah late nights might be pushing for the base to kind of bait them in at this point they will have the high ground against late nights and so old school will have to use that to their advantage against the slingers and that's going to be a key in this engagement the slingers are doing so much damage to the jabs right now yes and uh, catapults are missing them luckily for them a vampiro dodged uh, a, a couple of uh, boulders there yeah, so whatever's left of the range needs to focus on late night's range because <laughs> right now they have the superiority with with how much range they have on them. They, they, they didn't lose any range from the start. They started with some slingers, uh, with one, uh, four slingers units and uh, three uh, catapults, and uh, they has they still have three slinger units. You know, they only lost the slinger unit of the jack of all trades. Right. But El Vampiro is in a bad uh, position right now to, uh, and he is taking a lot of damage from those catapults. Looks like Mike is going to try and cap base, though I'm not sure if we'll see Blood Spiller be cap. Uh, Rowdy Man is getting in to give vision uh, to old school because uh, 
I guess they're not seeing uh, the the base. That's why they're not decapping. Oh man. Yeah, I think uh, late knights might be able to get this from base cap. Oh, there we go. Some already fired. Oh, yeah, they, they had no vision. That's why they were not shooting. I guess. All right, now they got set up. Now they they actually got a good, pretty good angle on late knights. Late knights sh should pull out of this with that already just destroying them. <laughs> now it's actually put them back to a fairly close match now. Yes, 50, uh, 40 points. Yep. Oh, 30 points now. Oh, late knights are starting to get <laughs> get a turn uh, around. Mike's vengeance is on. Now it's brewing, and Fire Phoenix is in there. Uh, three units versus one. Uh, Let's see how Vengeance is doing versus Fire Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Vengeance is gonna hurt a lot. Late Knights are gonna mop up. Uh, who's this, Mike? Uh, yep. Mike. yep, it's routed. It's routed, luckily. He didn't have the consumables for the morale, I guess. Is he gonna charge him? Yep, he's gonna make the charge. He does fa uh, Phalanx, though not in the back down. They did back down, yes. Oh man, they're gonna do a lot of damage now. Although now that their phalanx is down, El Vampiro is just gonna mop him up. I'm not sure why he's engaging. He could just finish him with the range. Okay, now I realize yeah, his behind mistake. The, <laughs> behind the old school, lost all their range, the advantage, and is left with uh, catapults and jabs. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Serene is uh, trying to go around uh, with his uh, legionnaires, very heavy legionnaires, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, Late Knights missed a huge opportunity here with El Vampiro shooting these pikes, because these pikes were very vital to take out. I mean, they're, they're failing right now, so they have no shield defense against those slingers. Yes, uh, I don't understand why they uh, keep on uh, pushing units into it. Mike was able to get around with his infantry, and I think this is might be the end for late knights if they can corner uh, them over. the late knights uh, noticed it and pinged it and uh, now uh, the catapults are retreating oh, having no range advantage uh, the only chance of uh, old school right now is to either pound them to death with uh, big rocks or uh, jabs uh, corner them and jab them to death There is no more cavalry in the game, uh, aside blood spill as a quarter of a unit, one-fifth. Right. Small He's uh, lurking around those javelins like a shark. He, he wants those. He's waiting for the opportunity to corner them with Storm's End, I guess. Yeah, and Bloodspill, it looks like he's harassing Mike to get him to turn around. Instigator's still there with his uh, artillery. Oh my god! He's able to get a, a little scatter shot there. Really good against uh, Mike's stats here. Oh, he's very, doing it all nice. nice. Oh, wow, very ballsy. That's a ballsy move. That's a very ballsy move from a catapult player. Oh my player. god, that was really good. Props to Instigator, they're getting those hits in and avoiding the charge. And it looks like he might go for the uh, melee. <laughs> by surrounding He's going to route him. Oh my, oh my god. Is it going to work? Is it going to work, I wonder? No, uh, it's, nope. not it's not going to work. And he might get the kills here. Uh, jabs are coming, jabs are coming. Here's the nail gun. This might be the finishing uh, blow here. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's finished for... Uh... For uh, the late nights, right here. Yeah, that's actually an incredible comeback there from uh, old school. That, that is cool. a very good comeback. I was not expecting that. I'm gonna move these guys out of the way. I definitely don't want to help either late nights or old school here. I'm gonna I'm just gonna move aside. Yes, I'm uh, <laughs> lucky for you. All the <laughs> all the units stayed there. All the battle was there. <laughs> Ooh, you missed the charger. Now, can they catch up in 14 seconds? I think not. This is old school's game. Very good game. Very good game. Oh, 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 oh. 
No, I don't think. Uh... Nah, 70 uh, kills in 3 seconds is not gonna happen. Unless they started shooting you, they would know. Uh, they would have no chance of the vods and um, helping them set up uh, some hype videos and doing some promotional videos for us uh, to kind of build up the NA scene. We are very excited for the NA scene to take off, and well, we actually do All have right. a team that, that signed up, a new team called Plan Happy. <laughs> so uh, here, uh, this time, late nights is bringing a lot of uh, slingers and light artillery. Uh, four units of slingers, two units of uh, five units of slingers, uh, four two units of uh, light artillery, no log shots at all. So no, uh, no javelins, no archers, uh, two sets of cavalry, and the rest infantry. Uh, and it looks like old school is leaving the north side empty. They are abandoning it, or not even leaving a unit to scout. They're going to be focusing that center and harassing that left, or I guess uh, southern flank. And it looks like the range is kind of scaring them away. They are going to pull back towards center. They are going to regroup in mid. JP looks like he's going to pull back to the base and see uh, some scout, some uh, scouting, some base. God, I can't talk right now. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, English right now. You're going to take over. Late night uh, has taken the middle, uh, which is light type artillery, and is controlling with slingers. Storms and is. Right now, trying to shoot cavalry uh, while being pounded by Rowdy Man, uh, but is now retreating. Uh, they have left uh, the, the flanks uh, completely open. That's a complete uh, uh, leaving the map to the enemy by old school. But the standard strategy of taking the high ground, the mid uh, center. Uh, they have some jabs uh, and uh, some. Archers coming in, so that's not gonna end well if they take the corners for oh, late nights. No, because... Merlin got in. He's gonna hit that center. Oh, he's got oh, the yes. most vulnerable part. Oh, very good hit oh, there by Merlin. Very nice, very nice. That's a very nice catch. And well, it looks like Blitzwood are coming I... in on the flank there from the north. Oh. Yes, they're closing in now. Cavalry is waiting for an opportunity. Callan is trying to defend. Top Danger is trying to defend. The Cardinal is getting in. Oh, another, uh, another, another charge. Hit. Wow. And they got to the Javelins too. Uh, <laughs> now they're closing very good. in. That was a very yeah, good Let's there. see. Yeah, those were very, very hard hits. And on, here comes uh, the last school. of the cam. <laughs> they weren't able to phalanx. They are hitting them hard. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's a mess. That's a bloody mess. But let's see if uh, the late night is going to take uh, the chance, uh, the opportunity, and try to pike them down or not. Uh, right now, the two players of late night are blocked in the south. They cannot go up because of Top Danger, who has the pikes. Uh, so, right now... Yes, the cavalry could not finish the, the archers and the jabs, but that was a devastating hit. 200 uh, difference right now in the score. Those uh, slingers are trying to be useful now, but uh, got under fire by archers. Instigator playing versus Getter is burning this pikeman unit. They just don't stand a chance. Every time they turn around, they get pegged by bullets spill in the back. That yeah, they're... they're, they're, they're... They're, try, they're keeping them busy, they're keeping them busy, that's all they're doing, because right now uh, the center is clearing out, and uh, old school is regrouping, it seems. Uh, they took the tower and is, are pushing uh, off the late nights from the hill. Late, uh, late nights decided that it's uh, taking too long, blood spill is going back, oh. uh, while instigator is uh, trying to take... Uh, care of the last remaining pikes. I think this is their second to last pikes, and it's routed. The last pike is by Storm, but it looks like they got butchered by Storms and Kanani pikes. I think uh, Top yes. Danger is using uh, their, Kanani pikes as well. Their Overwatch infantry is uh, melting uh, like ice cream uh, in a hot summer day. Oh yeah, Old School is trying to, struggling to pull back and regroup here in the center, but their center is completely shattered. Yeah, uh, GP uh, tried to stop uh, Instigator from reaching those uh, juicy soft targets, but Instigator got to them anyway. 
So it looks like the, the cavalry is focused on El Vampiro, and that's leaving a lot of his range units uh, open for attack here. JP is trying to hold him off with Rowdyman, but Instigator is going to destroy Rowdyman, or JP4 if he sticks around. And it looks like yes. uh, the late knights are coming in from the rear. Blitz are filling in the gaps and pushing them back. Uh, they, they've got them in the kill box right here because uh, the oh, yeah. light artillery was pounding them from one side uh, and uh, the, the, the slingers were taking them from uh, two angles. Uh, they were in a nice uh, nice spot to be uh, to be pummeled. Looks like Callan sacrificed his unit to get everyone else out of there. But the cavalry uh, was able to counter Instigator here, single out one of his units, though at the risk of being packed by light artillery here. And now the so, slingers are taking their shots at the rear. Now uh, Vampiro is getting destroyed at the back. Uh, old School has retreated back to their side of the map and taking care of the flanker. Uh, El Vampiro is holding on. Uh, let's see if uh, Late Knights are going to be able to come in time to save him. El Vampiro is starting to break. The, the, the battle lines are shattered. Mike Satz uh, tried to get to the Slingers from behind, but uh, is in crossfire right now from uh, Storm's End. Oh, it looks like he's hooked. Oh, he is stuck. Okay, so the Solaris problem is he used the Vicious Strike, which actually gives him a speed debuff, and it ended up killing himself with that. But it was uh, a good attempt. Yeah, it was a good attempt. El uh, Vampiro got to uh, save one of his units uh, from uh, from the mayhem, uh, but uh, that's about it. Uh, I think uh, this is it for old school. They've got some javelins left. Uh, this is... Uh, Oh, they were able to get Some the singers. Spears. Though, Let's see. minimal damage. Let's see what Mike can do here. He's coming around. They might be trying to single out Storms in here. As well as Bloodspiller's unit. Although Blood looks like he's going to be destroying the rest of JP4's unit. Oh, and Instigator cuts off Mike, stopping his charge from hitting Storm. That's awesome. No, that's, uh, those are uh, just uh, uh, Roman cavalry. It's not fast enough to pull this kind of maneuver. You know, it's uh, support for infantry. You have to get in from behind, uh, while in melee, and uh, and route them. Uh, you cannot uh, you cannot uh, slither your way through through the enemy like uh, like an Arminius. Oh, yeah. And here's the, here's a look at the score right now. Merlin is the MVP here. So it looks like he is wiped. JP4 is losing his last unit here as MVP for old school. And this is pretty much uh, the rest of the battle. I think it's just going to be mop-up for late nights. Late nights is finishing what's left of the cav. Cav is finished. Now all that's left is spears and gavs. Oh, and a slinger unit. <laughs> I'm not sure why Blood Spill is running. He has <laughs> the numbers on Rowdy there. I see Blood Spiller trying to back out of there. He's going to be taking a lot of jab damage there. But it does look like Instigator is coming around to kind of sweep from the rear and finish them. Hey, hey, Don Fernando. Uh, sorry, I didn't notice uh, uh, the, the screen. Yeah, I don't consider myself back, but... Um, I'm lying to myself a little bit, you know. <laughs> this, this this game is uh, is very very addictive. It can it's be, like yes. uh, it's it's uh, the crack cocaine of uh, of strategy games. Yes, and I'm very happy with how it's turned out. Um, it's not quite a MOBA, but it's similar to a MOBA, but with strategy elements to it. Yes. Uh, not not to say MOBAs don't have strategy elements to it. This is more, you know, micromanaging, getting all your armies organized you... and such. Would you come and battle me in the middle of the map? I definitely can. <laughs> that, those are the 125 uh, units left uh, of, uh, of uh, old school that uh, I want to see in action. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. <laughs> Uh, I, I think uh, Late Night is not going to let you come.
Um, I don't have... Oh, yes, Frenzy is a tier 3 uh, skill, isn't it? Uh, so we can't even use Frenzy to, to finish off uh, our battle faster. This was uh, this was sad. I, I wanted to be fa a fair battle, but uh, late night is not letting us uh, do it. But uh, next time, I'll be sure to to take uh, your vengeance uh, uh, on late nights. Yeah, that's all right though. <laughs> it was fun. Now that's one to one. Uh, late nights one, old school one. So this next one will be the tiebreaker. I do believe we're going to be playing extra matches because Old School does want to switch out some players in and out of each match. So we might see more than, uh, I guess, three. So it's it, from this point on, it's going to be practice. It's this opening. Path, uh... I see that. The Northern Path is close. But you can take the, the Collapse Bridge side, and that's pretty quick. I'm going to back up my, uh, <laughs> my cavalry here. It is, but you don't have so much support, and you are open to flanking maneuvers from cavalry and barbarians. Who can be really pesky? I've uh, I've played that uh, that part of the map uh, a couple of times with uh, Germanic uh, Germanicus with uh, Vercingetorix cavalry or a Falksman, and uh, it can be a, a murder murder forest. So it looks like already off the bat, old school is not taking the west side. They only have one scout going for the tower, and they're going to be bunching up towards the eastern tower here. That's already taken by Cardinal. Carnal was able to get vision on them, and he's getting hit there <laughs> by the uh, no, slingers there by Top Danger Noodle. No, that's the first uh, kill, but uh, yeah, uh, now are... we have some uh, we have some uh, scouting uh, by uh, by late night, so we know that uh, old school is bringing some light artillery, two slingers. That's right. So. Oh. Oh. Looks like Callan, the scout unit that he had here, is going to be trapped. He's going to try and hit Fire Phoenix, and he does clip him a little bit on the jabs there. Though Fire Phoenix's uh, heavy infantry there will probably finish off the job. Though he is trapped, Blood Spiller looks like it's going to be cutting it off. Storm, I'm not sure why he's charging uh, the cab here. He can do a little more damage, but I guess at this point he's trapped and he knows it. <laughs> Uh, unbeknownst to, to nobody, uh, Cardinal is trying to sneak past the GP 4x4 at the back of the of the map, uh, oh, trying to go for a back cap. Now, Mr. Self-Destruct does have an elephant by base, so this might end up scaring him off. So I'm not sure exactly where Cardinal is, but Cardinal will be on the back side. He is, he is coming from the from the tower side that they had, uh, where old school is. Uh, it's, he's just behind old school, actually. Looks like Callan was finally able to get out of there with only one third of his force. Looks like okay. So late knights do have total control of this top part, which is going to be key for the to slingers. Controlling this yeah. map. The slingers won't have the height advantage, so that puts them at a disadvantage. Um, even but, though they uh, have the range. Oh, they, they, they have some uh, pretty long range. Uh, Grifor, what is Grifor on? Oh, he is on uh, Ambiorix, uh, the, 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 the best archer, uh, barbarian archer commander, uh, I believe. So he can shoot uh, very, very far and harass uh, them when they take the tower. Right. Right um, now, Late Knights is uh, trying to see where it's going to hit next. Uh, Old school is holding its ground. He's not giving uh, that patch of dirt there. Kalan is trying to get some vision for the slingers. The enemy base will soon be ours. Looks like Kalan is harassing the base, trying to bait him back to the base. Not sure if they'll take the bait. Because uh, that Cardinal Cardinal is back on that watchtower. Uh, though there is no range in the vicinity to start... Uh, chipping away at him now it uh, does seem like it's a pretty big mexican standoff at this point i mean i i think entropy is not using his light artillery where he should be i i, I think that uh, if do, do you have vision on the top at all because if you had some vision on the top that artillery could easily have an arc uh from where he is okay looks yeah. like they, they caught cardinal they are pinging for cardinal sin they might try to maneuver towards him although doesn't seem like they're going to be taking that, that push. Um, so they're just going to be leaving them to buzz around. 
Okay, looks like Callan will be going for Cardinal. Not sure how this engagement will turn out against uh, Cardinal here in the back forest. He is alone. That we know. He is alone, uh, and he might get uh, pincered if uh, old school decides uh, at any point to take care of him. But they're not bothered by him so much as to move their troops. Uh, right oh. now, Entropy is uh, came back, but uh, let's see what he's gonna do with his light artillery. What side is he setting up? Oh, he's taking care of Cardinal. Uh, they decided they had enough of that uh, back uh, lurking barbarian and uh, have decided to set up the ar light artillery. Um, Carl is caught by that large artillery. It is pinning him down. His archers need to get out of <laughs> sight. Uh, during that time, Late Knight decided that uh, he wants to push because they got tired of waiting for uh, uh, Old School to, to come. So they decided to push down their hill and are harassing Griffor and uh, Zion. Uh, and I think this is where Cardinal gets taken out here. Cardinal is being finished. Yes, uh, with the elephants coming on him, he has no chance. Uh, maybe he can escape from the forest, but uh, I, I doubt it from cavalry. Uh, archers are coming back. Uh, there is a general retreat uh, by uh, old school, from what I understand. Yep, uh, they're retreating to the back tower. Uh, late oh, night yeah. is now trying to decide what it's going to do. Uh, the archers have decided to take chase. Uh, yes, late night is moving on into uh, into closer close up into onto old school. So now old school uh, has. I, I feel like old school dedicated too much to Cardinal because right now they have at least five units out there trying to finish. They, they've Cardinal. been they've been completely pushed from the from the plateau. Yep. Uh, That's so they, they lost complete, it. So completely gave the plateau and didn't take the tower the southern tower. Uh, this uh, is Western Tower. You were saying, yes. That Cardinal is or controlling e right now. Eastern Tower. The Eastern Tower. So Cardinal is in control of it right now, and that was uh, Old School's tower normally on this map. But like I said, Old School is on the bad side of the map uh, uh, for this one. Th this is a hard map from that side. So looks like Callan is gonna scout ahead with his uh, weakened cavalry unit, uh, trying to get vital information here. Not sure if they have to counter this. They yeah, have some archers. Uh, where did the uh, where did old school archers uh, go? They went back into the grass. They're in the they're near where Cardinal was, just down the ridge in the grass. So what is Griffor doing there? Uh, just holding spots. Looks oh, like I, I think they're yeah. setting up their light artillery then to take care of uh, these uh, archers. Uh, slingers are coming back. Ooh, Carnal was able to finish off uh, Cannon's last cab unit. Or I guess his weakened unit. He still has one more. Uh, Riffor has been burnt. Now he's being shot by uh, Storms. And uh, his uh, shield not being useful at all. He's taking heavy casualties from that fire. Uh, now he decided to retreat. Uh, giving his back to some archers. Uh, some bad idea, but somehow managed to escape from the fire. Now I take it old school is hoping to hold them on this ledge, but uh, they gave uh, complete map control to late night and uh, are in, are being cornered actually, but have the, the numerical advantage. Let's see how long that's gonna last. Yeah, with Griffer backing out, he's got his back turned to the archers. Oh, he is uh, going to take a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. That is, that is a nasty, nasty retreat. He has no protection from the archers. The archers are shooting uh, their melee unit instead of concentrating on uh, the ranged uh, unit of late knights. Right. They have, uh, they have, Leo and they have no vision. It's, it's not going to be good, you know, trying to push up against late knights at this point. They're going to have to pull back no. even further. And they, their back line... Uh, Late night has his back uh, very well protected. No cavalry is harassing them from behind. Uh, on the contrary, Cardinal is harassing uh, old school from the side mm -hmm. and is coming from the uh, from the slingers, but yeah, uh, couldn't really uh, charge because of the top dangers uh, spears. Right, Phoenix just tried to uh, hit the Griffor and he did pretty good damage, but then uh, <laughs> JP saw an opportunity and took it and 
wiped out uh, that jab unit that uh, Phoenix had sent out. Now at this point, as long as they hide, they should be able to keep the advantage here. Man, yeah, this uh, this looked like uh, old school is uh, having the numbers. Uh, the uh, late night is pouring down men into that kill zone when Griffor has uh, his men uh, ready uh, with uh, vengeance to welcome them. Uh, Entropy has a second unit that is not in Testudo, uh, but uh, that is waiting to take the relief uh, when uh, those are finished. This light artillery, light artillery is doing its damage, isn't it? It is, and it's actually opened up. A that hole is. Uh, El Vampiro is actually getting butchered over here, trying to fight against JP Four. But the the key is they don't have the vision. I don't think on JP Four at, at the base. No, they, 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 they do have vision on everything right now. They can see Entropy. They could not see Entropy earlier, but now they can see Entropy and they can see Zion. Uh, the only person they cannot see is in the grass. And we know that there are spears in the grass. Oh, it's not looking good for Late Nights. Late Nights at this no, point no, late, way too much. Late Nights is uh, trying to push... Uh, for no reason into them from a frontal position and uh, old school has them where they want it, want them you know uh, the the light artillery is set up the slingers are set up to with a, with a nice range uh, and uh, the the archers are at the back you know to, taking care of any infantry that would uh, dare adventure into their uh, into their valley that's some good dodges there by entropy Oh, looks like Entropy it. is uh, retreating oh, yeah. in uh, in a very nice manner. They don't want to trade units at this point. Uh, uh, you see, you see the the experienced players uh, who who know what they're doing. They they're retreating and uh, hiding, waiting for the enemy to charge uh, recklessly into into a kill zone into crossfire. Uh, looks like Fire Phoenix is getting vision for late nights. Not sure how it's gonna hold up. I can see Spearman. <laughs> oh, and there's the archers in the forest. They looks like they moved up, and they're gonna be pegging JP4 here. Yes, uh, yes. Late nights uh, decided that it didn't want it to push from that opening, and decided to uh, head to another opening in the fence and get into the valley from another side and uh, get to the forest or to the base, I think. So now they're pushing from the forest. Our base is under attack. Archer Storm's End is uh, trying to keep uh, those uh, slingers at bay and uh, Entropy busy oh, while late right. knights are pushing with their uh, pikes into... And this is actually a really good push. Cardinal was actually able to get in the back. I don't know if he'll be able to hit the light already, but he's at a very good advantage here. He's got the speed over everyone here. And Instigator's coming in, and there looks like they got vision on the slingers. They are mopping him up in the grass. Very good play. Cardinal actually baiting out the infantry to pull out. That was a very good play there. Looks like they are coming around and they are coming hard. That, 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 is, a hard, uh, that is a hard push there. Uh, those slingers uh, had to go and they're gone now. Uh, late knights are, have pushed completely into the base. This is a uh, huge turn. And shoes. They've actually turned it around. Now they've They've closed the gap, and now they are still pushing. This has been very aggressive. In yes, the they, they, they saw that the enemy had a defense and took the advantage that uh, the enemy had no idea what they were doing. So they retreated uh, while Old School stayed in position and then pushed from another flank, and Old School was not prepared because they didn't see them coming at any moment. So that's where the height advantage comes into play uh, in these battles. You know, uh, do you have the vision? Do you have the vision? Old school is still playing the vision game, as you can see there in the forest. Zion is shooting from the forest, but Merlin is coming in. He's gonna finish those archers. No, he Zion got... crippled him. <laughs> the crippling shot that's, stopped him. Completely. That's where uh, that's where Ambiorix uh, gets into play. He's a very very good uh, archer commander, very resilient. I'm, I'm surprised Bloodspill is still focused on this one little unit of spear from JP4 instead of the elephant. Uh, this could be very close. Uh, late Knights are starting to kind of lose their momentum. So right now is very key on... Oh, and Instigator's pulling out of the um, out of the base. 
Ah, oh, the, the elephants are... Oh, now it's an... Um... Oh, no. If he's able to at least... Uh... Oh, I'm not even sure what, what abilities they have. Oh, uh, they don't have anything that can slow him down. Oh, this is going to be very close. So, looks like the archers will might be mopped up here. Late Knights will be taking the forest. Storm's End was able to get out of danger here. Bless Blue, I was able to harass those cav out of the way. Okay, looks like he's going to be testing for weaknesses. So now it's a numbers game. So let's see if really uh, the Bolt Schools can uh, be able to turn this around. But uh, last 15 seconds... Uh... Doesn't look so, so good. Uh, that uh, that push was uh, fatal for old school. That was. And that was a very intense push. They actually pushed from all flanks, and that was, a, I think, a very good approach. I think uh, it was Storm that was leading this one. That was a very good call on his part after seeing... Yes, they, they, split, in from their, one spot. they split their archer units and, uh, and took care of... Uh, attacked them from uh, two angles. All right, i got to make sure I move my units all the way to the back. Probably towards the the water. Yep, beach side. Oh, they're already there. You see the new unit coming out, Slinger? Yep. Oh. All right, looks like late night's taking the high ground and setting two down in the forest. Looks like crew's got nope, half three. the units going north. Three in the forest down there. Very nice. Uh, let's go get in the first tower pretty quick. Late night's still not on the first tower. Kudan is kind of scout that area to see uh, how late nights are moving up. All right, there's the tower for late nights. Yeah, nice. looks like uh, old school's got the scout out here. First blood goes to crew, late nights. Yeah, crew spotted them in the south and in the middle. Good spotting there. Takes a little bit of damage uh, scouting, but uh, he's able to pull away safely. It looks like the old school is pushing up north. Looks like we do have someone sneaking on the bottom. Merlin being very eager with these uh, <laughs> barbarian cab. I don't know if uh, Callan's going to try to Late nights look it. solid. They're moving down that south forest and holding the middle. And they got a, a little two-man group kind of flanking on the far left, which I don't think old school even knows is coming yet. Oh, yeah. It looks like they're just kind of hunkering down here on the top side for old school. And they see them. They yeah, see Griffin coming in. Jeep spotted him up there. He sees him now. Looks like he got some range shooting up at uh, Jeep here. Merlin's coming in with the war dogs. Crew of nine kind of testing the waters here, seeing if he'll bait him out. Pretty good spotting yet. Um... But late nights have moved all the way down that south forest and right on top of Cap. Looks like Top Danger is going to be taking advantage of the vision crew and Callan are giving him. Firing into Merlin. Grelnar is pushing up. I'm not sure if uh, they're protected. Grelnar, oh no, yep, he's able to catch it and defend him. Crew's not able to get in. A lot of this is just testing the defenses. I can see Crew of None managing to sneak in. I, I feel like Callan's a little too close to the War Dogs. If Merlin hits him with that cab, he's going to be locked in for the War Dogs to finish off. Crew of Nine looks like he's going to try and cover that rear on the south side of that forest and push on, whereas on the north end, looks like they're just kind of waiting it out. I feel like there's going to be one unanimous push like they did in the last match. But we'll see. I'm not sure how they're going to turn up with this. Yeah, pretty interesting. Late nights look solid down here in the south forest. They're hanging tight. They... Old school knows they're there, but um, not pushing on them yet. Oh, dogs are going for crew of none. Not sure if he's going to be able to get out. Oh, there we go. Archers are moving in. Looks like they got the line of sight. Is Merlin going to go in to finish off crew of none? Oh, yeah, here? hitting them dogs. And, of course, the range backs them off. And that's all right. A lot of this is testing defenses. Well, Cal and Bill get doing the a nice job down here, spot, and so is Cal. These guys are keeping the eyesight on the late nights here in the forest. Archers are pounding in on them. Cal and did get a charge in, get a little bit of damage on the archers. Looks like he's he hit their morale pretty good here. Cal and's coming back, trying to sneak out of there. 
He actually manages to get out. That's actually very impressive. Light already is focused there. And yep, some and damage. Storm on late nights and them, they've stopped holding the middle. They're pushing now up the right side with the forest, too, coming to support this south forest. Battle of the range here in the south forest. Looks like uh, Storm's End is barely ste uh, stepping out of the grass. He's made himself visible. Uh, I'm not sure how how Old School is going to react to this with their cab. I'm sure they're probably making a priority target if they can. Uh, Merlin is coming out. He was going to try and hit the Stingers. Stingers reposition. That might open him up. Oh, Merlin throws the fire down on top danger. And Light already firing into them. Uh, return fire here from Squeaky into uh, Merlin there. Merlin is actually taking a lot of damage now. Gun. It is keeping an eye here on the corner of the base. Right by the forest. North side looks like they are pushing pretty yep. aggressively with Griffer yep, and they are. Ranger Jeep's Mitch. keeping an eye on them up there, but um Yeah, looks like late knights are flanking around the other side too. Looks like uh yeah, old school here is kinda of pulling a tactical retreat back to the grass. Uh keeping an eye on the tower so late knights can start to take ground. Now this is yeah, a pretty defensive battle. Got here. A little lead on points. Not much. It's all pretty close yet, but... Oh, you're right. No, no, they don't have a lead. They, uh, it's old school that has the lead. Oh, sorry. I <laughs> can't tell what side I'm on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it messes us up because we're, we're no. on the opposite teams. <laughs> well, I'm looking at Zion here, and he's an old schooler filling in over there. and Yeah, I'm all mixed up. All right, it's still a pretty tight game, though. That's not much of a point lead. All right, the cav from Crew of None has been finished. Uh, they just have a few cav units left to scout. I'm not sure if they'll utilize them now. Late Knights don't have any major cav units. I think it's just uh, Callan that's the cav here for Late Knights. Or not, not Late Knights, I mean... Uh, old school. Old school. And then for late nights, we have one from Cardinal Sin and one from Merlin, though Merlin did take a lot of damage on his cab unit. Uh, Callan might try and go for Instigator here. I think it was a bait. Instigator was waiting with a heavy unit. Oh, and they were able to get the Pilas off, and Callan oh, just getting really gets here. a nice little charge up here on old card. Getting a nice little punch on the uh, archers up here on the north. Uh, the war dogs are going to chew up those, the uh, price, cab. though. Yeah. Doesn't look like he's going to win that much. He was able to hit the archers pretty good, but yeah, you're right. That's that yeah. might not be the might not be the sacrifice they needed. Got Destro and Cal both coming over to help him. Old school does have a pretty good lead though on uh, late nights. Yeah, and there's a big push. Late nights are pushing right from the forest now. They're not jacking around. They know they gotta get some points going, so here they come. Old school looks like they're holding the ground. Just pikes out front, light already in the back. Slingers, jabs. Oh. Light already's repositioning. Yep. Big mistake Destro's there by back Merlin. In with archers. Merlin tried to put fire here on the pikes, but the pikes are in a swamp area, so the fires are just instantly put out. <laughs> Ooh, Zion Sizzle. does a nice shot on a uh, entropy on the light arty. Zion is getting some pretty good shots. And this is the yep. very important part for late night's range. If they can wipe out Mr. Self-Destruct and Top Danger Noodle, they could turn this uh, engagement around. Now this push yep, is to get vision here in the down, grass. But the dogs are on them. Entropy's coming in, in from the south. He's going to hit uh, Zion. Zion's not paying attention. And he's pulling out. He looks like he's going to try and blob out of that. Storm's going to hit the backside of Entropy. And he's able to get the hit. Free yeah, up Zion. Entropy did turn just in time. but. And I think this is where we see the, the range battle come to its uh, end. Pretty close game, still. This is actually pretty close here. Yep. Slight lead of points by uh, old school, but not big enough. Only, no, lead dropping quick. Oh, you're right. Yep, looks like late nights are turning around. Uh, 
Griffer looks like he's holding the tower, so he's getting some pretty good vision here for late night's uh, archers here. All right, late night's just took the lead by a couple points. I think you might need some glasses there, Roddy. <laughs> it's uh, 379 to uh, 330. Am I looking? All right, I'm mixed up on colors here because <laughs> I'm looking at the red and the blue. Right, and the blue is... All right, late night, sorry. Yes. Right, you're just down by a hair, though. 70 points. This could be, this could yeah, be over yeah, pretty quickly. Tight. If JP can catch the range, that's old school game. There's there's no way they'll be able to come back from it. Though, if they can hit these uh, the light artillery units, late knights could take the advantage of that and whittle them that. Looks like they are hitting them. Oh, they are doing some pretty good damage to that light artillery unit. Oh. Here comes Cal with a nice set of infantry. They turned it around. Nope, Callan's going to finish off the range here, and that's pretty much it for late knights. Clip storm there with that uh, charge, but it looks like uh, at this point it's just a mop up. Storm is now out. Yeah, you know what though? That was a great push by late knights. It almost succeeded a second time. They did that last round and won it right at the end with that push. Well played though by both teams. Tough fight. Oh, yeah, definitely. Very brutal. And it looks like we still have Instigator here in the background. Yeah, there's still a lot of time yet, too. There's four full minutes yet. Very close game. Yep, 257 to 301. And Grilnar finish off this guy. He's about to get hit hard by the calf. Oh, Callan didn't have his charge ready. Grilnar is able to turn around. Point Spears at Callan. Callan's going to lose a lot of his guys here on, on the Yeah, Jeep's JP. bringing in some uh, little sword action. What is that, Buka? <laughs> nice. <laughs> now you're right. There is still a little bit of time, though I think right here is where it's going to start to die down. Oh, yeah. I don't think they're coming back from this. I'm pretty sure Instigator knows it, too. This is the final uh, charge here. Final assault. Nice to get her hit by Callan's yeah, charging still force. Got, still got some healthy cav yet. There's the score here. Uh, did I see the game, Gunslinger? I did catch the final game. Um, I was actually coming back from California on Friday, and then Saturday I, I slept in. I was I was exhausted. But I did catch the last game. Oh, good deal. Did you watch the Sun Tzu tournament, uh, Ronnie? Yeah, I've watched uh, some of the replays um, that Ark did. They were pretty good. The ones with him and Jonah um, commentating together were pretty fun. Nice. Did you see any of those? Um, I only saw the last uh, match. I haven't seen the replays, but uh, I think after this, I could probably uh, hang out for a little bit with the wife and watch some of the replays. Yeah, yeah. Well, this was a great match. Looks does look like old school's going to win this one. Um, but man, it was down to the wire. It's still only 125 to 250. Right. 100 points. Not bad. That's actually really good. No, it could have gone either way there for a while when uh, Late Nights did that big push at the end. <laughs> it almost did it again. It almost did it again. Looks like uh, Late Nights want you to finish off. It's up to you, Roddy. Finish off the team. 
<laughs> there. Oh, uh, with my tier ones, I can't kill nothing. Probably get the archers. Oh, I'll go kill someone then. Yeah, let me go hunt. The enemy base will soon be ours. Oh, there he is. Gods hear me. We will be victorious. Fifty six seconds. <laughs> Get him, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, nice. I think you'll actually be able to wipe this guy, even though he's tier 5. Yep. <laughs> I'm in the game. <laughs> That's actually really interesting. You're actually doing a lot of damage to a tier 5. That's actually very surprising. I guess the jump for higher tiers is bigger than for lower tiers. Archers and squeaky on the light already. <laughs> Good fun though. <laughs> I tell you, I do love this game. Three units and uh, high adrenaline. Good stuff.